this is Prometheus giving you another defensive playbook breakdown. This is going to be out of the Giants playbook. I'm going to provide you a scheme out of the nickel normal NASCAR. Uh, it's going to basically provide you a good way to complement uh, one of the most deadly blitzes in the game, which is the over the nickel overlord three seam two. And also it's going to be a good complement to the nickel normal uh, uh, buck show two two uh, against your opponent. If he's if he's running running you're running that blitz against him. Uh, the problem with that is the blitz is always going to come off the far left side. This blitz will actually come off the right side and it's going to be completely unorthodox. Most of your opponents are not going to be used to the pressure and it's extremely effective especially if they're rolling off to try to avoid the blitz. So let's go ahead and show you how quick it is to set this blitz up and how effective it is. Alright, so this blitz can actually be found in either in the nickel or the nickel NASCAR. Uh, it really depends on how you want to run the play. Now, uh, the nickel, uh, basically you've got two of the greatest blitzes that are in Madden right now. The, the Buck Slant Show 2 because it's so effective. Uh, it basically will go against anybody blocking and running back. They've got to do massive things against it. Another base blitz that is in this particular scheme is the Overload 3 Seam. Uh, that's a phenomenal blitz too. It's very easy to set up this one. One of the first blitzes that got, they got released. The problem is that a lot of these other blitzes in the system, you don't really have any way to attack your opponent on the right side without making massive adjustments. So I actually discovered a blitz in the NASCAR package, uh, which is the corner zone blitz press. This blitz is already a press, so you don't have to press your defenders down. It's a very easy setup. All you have to do is slant your D-line outside and then QB spy your left of, uh, left of screen uh, DN. Very, very simple. I'm going to put the description on how to go ahead and put this blitz out. Now, this blitz is not 100% uh, going to get in all the time. Sometimes it does get po uh, picked up. It really depends on where uh, wide receiver is at. But it's extremely deadly against bunch settings. If you got an opponent that uses a lot of tight uh, formations because that corner will come in uh, that's going to be blitzing off the edge. And most people do don't blitz their corners, so it's a highly unexpected play. So if your opponent is is trying to defend against uh, blitzes that they know the pressure is coming off from the other side, which would be the left side, the overload three seam blitz, they're going to naturally roll to the right, and that's when you can catch them off guard. So let's go ahead and show you how this blitz works. It's very easy to set up. Slant your defensive line outside, then QB contain uh, your left to scream a defensive end to provide yourself another defender, and use your, your either middle linebacker or your safety over top. So what's the setup is going to look like? It's very easy to set up, and you've got coverage all over the field. So it's extremely easy to set up. The, the setups are all global, and basically you're going to get that pressure off the edge. Now, you can't expect to get this type of pressure all the time. Uh, it is not a regular thing to happen, but if your opponent is, is constantly trying to get away from this overload three blitz, uh, he's going to start rolling off to the right. That's going to be his tendency. He's going to start rolling off to the right. And as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and take my defender down, and all these guys start floating up in coverages and start taking away uh, my opponent's reads over the middle. So the weak part of the area, obviously, is going to be where the corner is actually um, uh, coming out. So you might want to consider uh, putting another, taking another defender and putting him in a flat defender over there in that area. Uh, but this coverage, if he's not expecting a corner to actually come around, he's going to get he's going to get hit with a blitz and it's going to be extremely effective. This blitz actually is very good against bunch sets too. Uh, it's very effective. Now, the reason why I wanted to show this to you first is this would be a base blitz that I've actually called out of because you can set up, you can easily audible into the overload uh, three seam, uh, which is a very popular blitz, and there's really no setup with that blitz at all. Now, one of the, the quick audibles is uh, overload, uh, and it's extremely easy to set up. The pressure is going to come off the edge, and you're going to be able to go ahead and hit him with that. So, that's what I do like about this particular formation is that if you call your plays correctly, uh, you can actually go ahead and have a, a pressure off the left, pressure off the right, because you've got the overload three seam, which you know is very easy to set up. You can actually leave it, leave it stock. Or uh, if you come out calling with the cornerback zone uh, press blitz off to the right-hand side, you have that pressure. Now, um, other, other other plays you can jump into is the, the, the Tampa 2 QB contain. That's a good play. Uh, the, the, the cover three uh, buzz two is going to give that same 
pr that same look is what the press is going to look like. It's going to be essentially the same, or actually the Cover 3 uh, Sky Press is going to be the same look as the, co the cor cornerback zone press look. And you got Cover 2 Man that you can jump into. And in this formation, you can jump into Marble if you wanted to. If your opponent's flooding, um, you also got an Overstorm Brave. So, um, and if you really wanted to go ahead and, and attack them, you've got the Mid Blitz. So that's what I do like about this particular formation. Um, this nickel formation out of the Giants playbook is this NASCAR will set up my defense, and then I'll basically build that, build the rest of my scheme around. Because in this game, you got to be prepared against anybody that runs no huddle. No huddle players are rampant in this game, and it's it's very difficult to do. So. Uh, you can also go ahead if you wanted it to, to effectively hit them with. You can hit them with a nickel blitz, and also um, in this this scheme, you've got uh, one of the best blitzes in the game, uh, which is going to be the ba the buck slant sh uh, two. Uh, that's probably by far one of the best blitzes in the game. So if you guys like this blitz breakdown, it's very easy to run. It's not going to work 100% of the time, but it's just a blitz that's very easy to set up, uh, which is the corner zone blitz press out of the nickel normal. I'd recommend going ahead and uh, adding it to your scheme or just that corner blitz to your scheme because it definitely could be something that you, you can surprise your opponent with for uh, a fourth down stopper or a third down stopper to get this guy to punt. So to my subscribers, thanks for support. I'll be rolling out uh, full gameplays where you can actually see this scheme in action and how I was able to go ahead and catch my opponents off guard uh, with the blitzing concepts out of these nickel formations. Thanks a lot, and until next time.